So in this video, I've changed the problem slightly. We've now got a fair five-sided spinner as faces labelled 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. The score on the spinner when it is spun once is denoted Z. Find E of Z and V of Z. Now, the problem is that I derived E of X and V of X, these formula given to you in the formula booklet, from the starting position of this uniform distribution. So R is starting at 1 and going up in 1s up to N. But now, in our example, I was starting at 10, okay, and going up in 1s to 14. Now you might be thinking, okay, well I've got 5 of them, so I'll just replace N with 5, and so I'll get 5 plus 1 over 2, which is 3. But E of Z can't be 3, okay, we can clearly see it's going to be 12. So how can I adapt this to now solve this problem here? Now, we could completely scratch all that and then use the methods that we learned in the previous section for discrete random variables. So we could say, OK, well, E of Z is going to be 10 times 1 over 5 plus 11 times 1 over 5 plus 12 times 1 over 5 plus 13 times 1 over 5 plus 14 times 1 over 5. OK, so we've got 10 over 5, plus 11 over 5, plus 12 over 5, plus 13 over 5, plus 14 over 5. And surprisingly, we get 12. Right, now I need E of Z squared. So that would be 10 squared times 1 over 5, plus 11 squared times 1 over 5, plus 12 squared times 1 over 5, plus 13 squared times 1 over 5, plus 14 squared times 1 over 5. So, 10 squared over 5, plus 11 squared over 5, plus 12 squared over 5, plus 13 squared over 5, plus 14 squared over 5, gets us 146. So, var of z is equal to 146 take away 12 squared, which is 146 times 144, and so it's going to be equal to 2. Okay? Now, the two values that we're getting then are 12 and 2. Let's just make a note of them down here. So that's the long-winded way. Now, obviously, we don't want to have to do that all the time because some of the problems that we're going to deal with um, are going to be much larger. And so we want some way of adapting uh, our formulae for the purpose. OK. So, essentially, this is my starting position. Here's x, here's the distribution x, and let's say I had it going from 1 up to 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so that would be 1 over 5. Now, what am I actually doing uh, to the r values? So because they're going from 1 up to 5, what I need to do is add 9 to each of them, and then I get to 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So really, z is the same thing as x plus 9. So adding 9 to each of the r values. Now, knowing what we know about e of x, um, that for this, I could just say, well, I know then that that is e of x plus 9. So, this is equal to, well, e of x is going to be 5 plus 1 over 2. So that's 6 over 2, which is 3, plus the 9, which is the 12. And var of z is var of x plus 9, and we know the properties of uh, var, so that's var of x. The 9 can be ignored. 
So that would just be 5 squared take away 1 over 12. So 25 take away 1 is 24 divided by 12 is 2. And we get the results that we had previously. So we need to come up with ways to adapt what we've got in the formula booklet to match what we're dealing with in the problem.